scientists found a new planet, Proxima b, pretty close to Earth. They used the James Webb Space Telescope to get the clearest picture we've ever had of it. This planet goes around the closest star to our sun, which is kind of amazing because it gives us a look at another world. People who study space are super interested. How did the telescope take a picture like that? Could this planet have what it takes for living things? What does finding this planet tell us about other planets and space? Let's check out this new high-res picture of Proxima b. It's a mysterious planet around Proxima Centauri, a star only 4.22 light-years away. The first look at this planet made us wonder if it's like Earth. Maybe it has oceans with living creatures? Proxima Centauri has company. Another big planet, Proxima Centauri c, goes around it too. Proxima b gets about the same amount of energy from its star as Earth gets from the Sun. Could there be water? Could life exist there? Space is huge, full of planets circling stars other than our sun. We're talking about 200 trillion stars spread across the galaxy. Anything is possible. Some planets just float around in space like giant nomads. Proxima b is odd and special. Its year is only 11.7 Earth days long. It's also 20 times closer to its star than Earth is to the sun. One side always has sunlight, and the other is always dark. Proxima b was found using a cool trick called the radial velocity method. When a planet circles a star, it pulls on the star, making it wobble a bit. Scientists can spot this wobble by studying the star's light. That's how they found Proxima b. Finding Proxima b was a big deal because it's in the habitable zone of the closest star to us, sparking passion among researchers, scientists, and space lovers, wondering if there's life out there and what it all means for understanding the universe. It's incredible. Imagine three buddies, Regulus, Canopus, and Proxima Centauri flying around space, forming the star system closest to us. When you look up at night, Regulus and Canopus shine brightly together in the Leo group. They're the third brightest stars we can see. But Proxima is the one holding a secret. It's a red dwarf star, also called Alpha Centauri, only 0.21 light years from its brighter pals. That's way farther than Earth is from the Sun. Its name means closest star in Latin. Even though it's close, you can't see it without a telescope. Red dwarf stars make energy through strong stuff happening inside them. This star will be around for another 4 trillion years. But living on a planet around Proxima Centauri would be tough. It's a flare star, so it shoots out bursts of energy. Also, the area where life could exist is much closer to the star than it is to our sun. Proxima b happens to be in that zone, about the same distance as Earth is from the sun. But it gets blasted with way more ultraviolet radiation than Earth which could cause problems for elements needed for life. Just being in the right spot doesn't mean a planet can support life. Proxima b might not have what it takes to manage its climate or have water on its surface. Without a good atmosphere, Anything living on Proxima b would be in trouble. Trying to figure out Proxima b is still important. The James Webb Space Telescope could help us learn if life exists there. The telescope had to be made extra precise. It faces a delicate subject. A Harvard physicist says that because the planet is in the habitable zone, it can take in and send out infrared. The telescope can spot the faint light from the planet to see if there's water or an atmosphere. Water plays a big role as it may mean the planet could hold biological activity. Since it's near its red dwarf star, the planet gets a lot of radiation and magnetic reactions which could mess up any atmosphere. It's also unsure if there's actually any liquid water. Currently, scientists are running models and simulations to check different cases for water reservoirs, with some saying that there's oceans on the planet, while others say that it may be trapped as ice or under the surface. Being able to tell if there's water on Proxima b is a tough task. We have to use great telescope tech and specific atmosphere conditions. Hopefully, as our abilities grow, we get closer to finding out. An astrophysicist makes it clear that an atmosphere is not enough to ensure there's actually living things on the planet, with it potentially closer to Venus due to a dense atmosphere and unbearable temperatures. Proxima b is extra special. We hope it can support life. It's close enough that we might be able to send missions there in the future, which excites people. Even though we can't get there yet, it's still a goal. The journey would take 73,000 years on a Voyager 2. 
but maybe inventions like solar sails, thin sheets pushed by light, could get us to the Proxima Centauri system in 20 years. Finding Proxima B has made people excited about space again. It means we want to keep exploring and finding new worlds. It shows us exploring this exoplanet through the use of the James Webb Space Telescope, which is really complicated, but has limits on working out the content of atmospheres and the conditions needed to keep living things, such as conditions similar to Venus. The universe is mysterious, filled with planets, each waiting to tell its story. These exoplanets circle stars far from our sun, different in shape and substance. Some are bulky like Jupiter and Saturn, with some being close enough to Earth. Gas giants similar in makeup to Jupiter and Saturn capture researchers' interests and surpass them dramatically in scale, no super-Jupiters, with even Jupiter seeming rather modest. Also found near the stars are hot Jupiters, with severe heat that vapors metal. Through these can be found violent atmospheres. Going beyond gas giants, it is also possible to find Neptunian exoplanets of similar shape as Neptune and Uranus. These include hot Neptunes and mini Neptunes, with hotter temperatures and mysterious atmospheres. Figuring out other planets like Proxima b has pushed us to make better equipment and understand space better. As we hunt for exoplanets, methods like seeing when a planet dims a star's light as it passes in front of it has changed how we find them. This has given us thousands of exoplanets with many of them found in habitable zones, opening the dream of distant oceans and life. Just like the amount of planets we detect, researchers are refining their methods to measure biosignatures with chemicals that may contain life. Scientists are seeking the chemical content of a distant planet's atmosphere to seek gases tied to biological activity. The James Webb Space Telescope will play an important role in the process. It's set up to measure biosignatures even for planets found dozens of light years away. If it is able to verify life molecules, then there is strong evidence for extraterrestrial life. And even though we look to the stars, the mission to find life is a persistent and inspiring mission in all of science. One thing about Proxima Centauri is that it sends out flares sometimes, causing problems. Also, because it's smaller, the area where it could have water is closer to the star, like where Proxima b is located. Proxima b gets blasted with a lot of ultraviolet radiation beyond what reaches Earth. This can be a problem. Just because it's in the right spot doesn't mean it can support life. Proxima b might not have the right stuff to keep water around. Without an atmosphere, anything living there would get hit hard by space, decreasing the potential for any type of life. Even though there are issues, figuring out Proxima b is a big motivator for astronomers. The James Webb Space Telescope can help us shed more light on the project. Launched at the end of 2021, with some patience, it might help us answer a pretty big question. Is there life on Proxima b? It's not easy, though. The James Webb Space Telescope has to be precise. Harvard experts say that Proxima b is sensitive. It sits within the habitable zone of its star. It can take in and release infrared radiation that supports life. This enables observability by the James Webb Space Telescope and will assist with their search for signs of water and a viable atmosphere. Finding out if there's water on Proxima b is key to understanding this place. If there's water, then there's a better chance for life. Proxima b gets about the same amount of energy from its star as Earth does from the Sun. Since it's so close to the star's red light, the planet gets a lot of harmful radiation and magnetic activity emitted by the star. All these factors could cause possible air and water instability. Plus, we can't know with water is actually in the environment. Scientists are looking at different ideas using computer models. Some people think there could be big oceans, while others think the water might all be frozen or under the surface. It's going to be difficult. Water needs to be observed with telescopes and with the right conditions. As tech advances and improves, water will become more visible and easier to detect. Just having an atmosphere, though, doesn't mean Proxima b is good for life. A Princeton University astrophysicist says Proxima b might be like Venus, which has a thick atmosphere and killer temperatures. Proxima b is appealing to scientists and other space buffs because it's close to Earth in an expansive region. We may not be taking trips there anytime soon, it can happen. It would take around 73,000 years with today's systems such as Voyager 2, but scientists are coming up with better systems such as light-propelled sails, could take as little as 20 years. 
Finding Proxima B has made people excited about space again. It reminds us how much is out there and gives us hope that other life exists. But while the James Webb Space Telescope is extremely helpful, there are things it can't do. It's limited on what it can interpret and get readings from in relation to the planet. Even though it has certain constraints and Proxima B might be like Venus, maybe not inhabitable. The sensitivity of the telescope with the light is amazing. There's so many things in the universe. Each one of them could have a new tale to tell. Some mimic the massive gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn while others appear eerily similar to Earth. Gas giants are among the most enthralling classes of exoplanets capturing the attention of astronomers worldwide. These planets constructed similarly to Jupiter and Saturn often surpass them dramatically in scale. Known as Super Jupiters, they are so massive that even Jupiter, the most enormous planet in our solar system, seems relatively modest beside them. In close proximity to these giants are hot Jupiters which orbit dangerously near their stars and endure searing temperatures capable of vaporizing metal. Studying these worlds reveals violent atmospheric disturbances and blistering heat. There are varying sizes to them as well in comparison to Neptune, Uranus. In comparison, there's hot Neptunes versus mini Neptunes and closer in range. Many of them are coated in mysterious atmosphere conditions that science can only dream of one day being broken down. Trying to find anything on Proxima B has driven space tech forwards and helped science know more about it. Finding methods like the transit technique, observing the brightness change, can help identify any new developments the planets emit which has assisted planets like Proxima b get noticed within the habitable area due to the potentiality of liquid water. Oceans and any other type of life gets that much closer. Along the way, researchers are trying to detect living indications or biosignatures. They can measure by gas such as carbon, oxygen, methane, and more. The James Webb Space Telescope is equipped to handle reading gases with high-tech tech. With it being the most sensitive, it can see any evidence such as lighting formations on the outside orbiting areas. If this all comes to fruition, then life truly lies elsewhere in the cosmos to some degree. There is still a challenge to keep looking, whether that be near the solar system or further in the galaxy. Remains and is one of the most inspiring in science.